Welcome back to Miles Around. It's time for our second in the driver's seat, and it's this, the 2007 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. The biggest truck we've ever had in the studio. This is a company that has its ruts in around 1901, made its first truck that appeared on the road in 1912. And this definitely is an impressive beast. Dennis? You know, it's all about the badge that's on the door, and it says two things. It says Allison Transmissions, and it says Duramax. Now, we can talk about the looks, and we'll get to that. We could talk about the great new interior and the door system that lets it basically open up wide for you to get your kids or anything else in the interior, but we're talking about power. 6.6 liter Duramax diesel that's churning out 365 horsepower, and more importantly, 660 pounds-feet of torque. Now, that runs through one of the best transmissions in the industry. It's the Allison 1000. It's a six-speed transmission that has so much fluid, it actually could maintain the fluid for four other transmissions if they were just behind a regular V8. It's amazing this, what this transmission can do, both in the terms of cooling and in terms of ability to handle power. Now, one of the things you might not know about this engine is the fact that it can have up to 20 pounds of square inch pressure in the turbocharger that has veritable geometry in the actual turbocharger itself. What does all this mean? And it means that my 1994 GMC that has a 6.5 liter turbo diesel and about 100,000 miles is not only louder, uglier, and makes nowhere near the power that this thing behind us does. Now let's take a look under the hood and see where the real power is made in the GMC. Once you get the hood open, you can see this 2007 Duramax engine looks much more powerful than years gone by, and in fact it is, but what it has less of this time around is particulate matter. That means the exhaust particles that come out of the other end are 90% reduced than they have been in previous years. Right, Dennis? Well, that's true, and unfortunately that doesn't mean that you get to basically pummel the guy that's tailgating you with a big giant cloud of black smoke. I reserve that for my old diesel that's from 1994. Now we've talked enough about the engine, we're going to talk about some of the other things. Massive disc brakes front and rear. This particular model has 18 inch alloy wheels as part of an upgrade package, which includes some goodies on the inside, but it's more about the gross axle weight ratings and the t total package as far as weight ratings throughout the vehicle. You're talking about the most powerful 2500 series trucks GMC or Chevrolet have ever produced actually being able to tow over 16,000 pounds, even in an extra cab short box like the one behind me. Now, when you're talking about chassis too, you're talking about the rigidity of this hydroform rail chassis being so much stronger than trucks from the past. What does it equate to you, the driver or potential owner? The ride and the rigidity of this vehicle equates to better handling and much more rigidity when you're putting big payloads in the back. One of the most interesting things when it comes to the aesthetics of this new GMC pickup is the fact that for the first time ever, the GMC and the Chevrolet products look distinctively different. Now for years, the only way you could tell the difference was the grille and some badging both inside and outside. Now with this new generation pickup, it's the fact that they've chosen very distinct different things to cue the styling of each truck. The GMC now has rounded fender edges where the Chevrolet has a very prominent straight edge. It's just a little way for the guy that's buying the GMC to make sure his truck looks different than everybody with a Chevy badge. Dual aspect mirrors on this vehicle, the top one a narrower view, the bottom one a wider view. That reduces your blind spots on the road. The signal, which is embedded in the mirror, is kind of cool, and of course, the mirrors slide out for your wide loads. You've got clamshell doors. The nice thing about these clamshell doors is a safety factor again. Kids can't get out of the back if the front door is closed. The black tinted window at the back rolls all the way down. You don't often see that sort of feature in a vehicle. And of course, the bed is very adaptable with its slides on the side. Well, moving to the interior of this HD 2500, it really is about the doors and how you get to the interior. The rear door is one of the best inventions ever on a pickup. Now that they open all the way around like this, how can you not see that as an advantage? One of the great things in the back here, apart from the fact that there's loads of room, if you want an extra room for cargo carrying, the seats fold up in a one action deal. Now 
now I'm inside what is truly an evolution in pickup interiors. Now this is nothing like my 1994. You're talking about six-way power leather seats, a center console, you could put just about anything you can imagine in it, plug-ins, adjustable pedals, great sound system. This thing even has satellite radio. Now, who the heck thought that was gonna be in a pickup truck one of these days? Now, as far as aesthetics on the interior, it does have a nice leather-wrapped wheel. It does have all the stereo and cruise control options right here in it. It's just amazing how much farther pickup interiors have come from the old days. Now, I've had several pickup trucks, and this is really, coins the phrase, cowboy Cadillac. It's time in the show, I'm gonna ask Dennis for your two ups and your one down on this vehicle. Well, the first one's gotta be power. The 6.6 .6 liter Duramax with 660 pounds feet of torque. It is amazing. Few upgrades, almost a thousand if you wanted. You know, it's only a checkbook away. The other is the transmission. This transmission's gotta be the first truck application of an automatic transmission that can actually outlast the motor. It is an amazing machine when it comes to technology and really the brute force of the mechanics. Now you're down. Well, my down is this. It's a very expensive pickup truck. That's not my down. It's $47,000, and there's no way this guy's ever spending that kind of money and still having a six-foot box attached to his new pickup. Let me tell you about my two ups, and of course I agree with Dennis on this, but I have two further ups on the inside. First of all, the seat configuration is amazing. You can actually have three seats up front, one in back, three in back, or none in back, and you can actually put cargo in there. The second up for me is the driving. Driving this vehicle, it's very hard to tell that it's actually such a large pickup. It handles really easily on the road, it's easy to steer, and it doesn't feel like it's as heavy as it actually is. My down for this vehicle is the size in width. It's so wide, it's more suited to park at the feed store than it is, let's say, at the local New Seasons. The 2007 GMC Sierra 2500 HD we've tested today has a Duramax 6.6 liter turbocharged diesel V8 with an Allison 6-speed transmission. The base price is $33,210 with an as-tested price of $47,593. Now the EPA ratings for both city and highway are not rated because this vehicle's gross vehicle weight rating. Here are the guys that make miles around possible. The Russ Auto Group, Baxter Auto Parts, Northside Ford, Ray Reese dealerships, Four Wheel Parts Performance Center, Grand Prix Imports, and Jay Lee's Auto Group. Thanks, guys.